Before any of you ask, yes, I am plagiarizing Alpharad and his Garfield Kart Q&A video. That's just how it is. Anyway, I'm playing this Garfield. I got my chef hat. Let's fucking go. I haven't selected a boost. Uh-oh. Let's, uh, that. That's my boost. So, of course, it's the Garfield Kart Q&A. I, I forced all of the people in the Discord to uh, give me some questions. Because normally, I would not have anybody giving me questions. That's just, I, I'm not big enough to have a whole lot of questions on, like, Twitter or anything. Oh, God, I hate Twitter. Anyway, we need to get some questions. First, from Ben and also Sudski, we have, Are you homosexual and are you gay? And the answer to that is pretty simple. No, I'm not. Sorry to, sorry to burst your bubble. From Spectrum, we have, How tall are you? I am 5'11 and a half. It's a sad world I live in. I'm almost six foot. I have the potential to grow a little more, so if God loves me, I'll make it all the way up to six feet, but probably won't. I sure hope I will, though. Peanut Butter asks, what is your mom's credit card? And I can't give that information out. Spectrum asks, are you actually going to tell people your mom's credit card? And the answer to that is also no. And... Spectrum also asks, are you planning to do a face reveal, and if so, when? The answer is really no, I don't really care that much about doing any face reveals. I mean, I guess it would be a good idea, brand-wise, to just ha let people know what my face looks like, because that's that supposedly helps out brand-wise, whenever people know what you look like, but otherwise, uh, I don't really want to, I don't really feel like I should or need to, but, I mean... It depends. And how old am I? I am 16. That's a... Uh, oh, oh, you gotta be shitting on me. Really? Yeah, I'm 16. Alright, let's see here. What and who inspired you from Sudski and... Oh, God. From Sudski and Spectrum. What inspired me? The fact... there I don't really have any real inspiration. I just record and record and stream videos record and stream myself playing video games that's it and oh god I did terrible there oh my lordy and that's really it I don't really have any inspiration I mean I guess you could say my inspiration was no knowing that w with just recording myself playing video games and streaming myself playing video games I could get somewhere at all in terms of success you could say that's my inspiration. Who inspired me? Same same answer, really. I mean, mostly, if I I can put it like this, I don't really have any inspiration, but I have lots of people that I copied shit from. Alpha Rad being one, I'm co I'm directly copying Alpha Rad right now. Um, lots of different YouTubers inspired me whenever it comes to uh knowing what I can do, like Chugga Conroy, him playing video games. Again, Alpha Red, him playing video games. Anybody who plays Minecraft and Venom, uh, Schlatt, he played Minecraft in SMP Live, them. All those guys. All those guys. That's all of them. So I guess you could say that's my inspiration. But I don't, I haven't, I like to think I haven't derived any of my stuff from them, except for, of course, copying Alpha Red's Garfield Kart Q&A. But most of my stuff isn't very derivative. Uh, that said, you, you could also say that just the genre of playing video games on YouTube is derivative in and of itself, which I'm not going to disagree with. That's just 100% true. So I guess the, the, the video game genre as a whole on YouTube is my inspiration. Let me put it like that. How did I come up with the name Marloin from, from again, from Spectrum? So the story goes with my friends back in like seventh grade. We, the Discord we were in, which is the same Discord we have today, renamed the Bronx, we've gone through quite a few iterations. The second iteration of the Discord was called The Ocean, and we all had Finding Nemo characters. That was our, uh, that was our thing, we were all Finding Nemo characters. I was Marloin, James was Nemo, uh, Evan was Bloat, Bryce was, Mr. Uh, Bryce was Mr. Krabs, and he was also Bruce the Shark, he was both of those. Right. I'm doing terribly, by the way. I'm doing... Absolutely horribly. He was. Well, no, we went from we went from the ocean to SpongeBob, but I just stayed normal. So 
I wanted to be Marlin, right? And it's this is really simple. I wanted to be Marlin. I misspelled Marlin as Marloin, and ever since I've just been Marlin. Marloin, I mean. Some people sometimes they call me Marlin, or just they call me Luke. That's my real name. My real name's Luke. But I mean, it's not. It's it's really really simple. That's where I came up with that name. Let's see, what was my first YouTube video? My very first YouTube video was on a channel. It's on a different channel under my own name. I call it my vlog channel, but it's <laughs> it's not it's not actual vlogs. Let me let me put it like that. I call it my vlog channel, but it no, I don't I don't do vlogs. That's dumb. But basically, it's on that channel. It's under my real name. I'm not going to link it. I might link it. Who knows? I don't really want to though. But yeah, it's under that and it's uh, me playing the new Super Mario Brothers DS. And I'm uh, playing along and I'm just speaking and I'm like, fi I'm five years old in that video. In that video, I'm five years old and I'm recording the screen of my DS with my phone. <laughs> it has like 200 views, mostly from my family. And it's, uh, it really is something. All right, uh, who is my favorite YouTuber who is not myself? That's hard. Answering that, who is my favorite person on YouTube? Oh, shit, but that's not myself. There's so many different answers. I'm just going to have to go genre by genre and kind of just answer that. My favorite just normal uh, commentary channel on YouTube is, right now at least, is Alpharad Plus. That shit's funny as hell. It's very much my style of humor. Uh, is it a good style of humor? In no way is it a good style of humor, but it's my style of humor. Uh, that's for like long form commentary, short form commentary kind of deal. And like comedy wise, definitely J Schlatt. Funny ass, it, yeah, very, very, very funny. Funny ass YouTube channel right there. He does lots of funnies. Uh, for commentary in general, uh, I forgot the name. But it's it's like video game analysis kind of deal that all that bullshit, which I was contemplating making a video about, by the way. But it, yeah, it's like video game analysis bullshit. Forget what his name is, but uh, he's pretty cool. He made a video about half the first few Half Lives. Then there's Ahoy. They're also pretty cool. They make videos. Uh, and now and they made videos. And this is gonna sound like I'm a school shooter, but they uh. The history of different guns in video games, and they also did uh, they do some not reviews but more like just analysis of video games. Like they, they're the ones who convinced me to actually go ahead and play the first Half Life, and that was the best decision I think I've ever made. The first Half Life is a really fucking good game. Uh, let me let me think here for animation wise, either Hot Diggity Demon or Scott Falco, maybe Terminal Montage. They're, they're pretty damn good. Minecraft-wise, I already stated. Um, I'm trying to think of other genres I like. C418 for music. Uh, and Porter Robinson. Robinson, not Robinson. What? Porter Robinson. Pretty epic. Uh, also, Misaki. That's the one that posts all the uh, Undertale music that I use in my playlist. Oh, just all the music. Silver Gunner. Silver Gunner. I have some of some of Silva Gunner's tracks in my playlist. Sorry, Siva Gunner, not Silva Gunner. I had to clarify that. Uh, other YouTube channels. I'm trying to just think of all the YouTube channels I need to give my shoutouts to. My uh, 177 subs shoutout. Um, hmm. Who else deserves my my praise? Uh, who else makes better videos than me? I, uh, Alexa, o Alexa makes great uh, I Binding of Isaac videos. Pinta Hybrid also makes great Binding of Isaac videos, and so does Sinvicta. They make great content, but those are those are my, those those, those they make con content just a little bit too similar to mine. So I can't really be shouting them out, or else I'm gonna lose all my subs to to people who make better content than me. I don't want that. They, that, that magic wand is really badass, honestly. I'm, I'm done with YouTube. I'm done with talking about YouTubers. Do you wear a mask whenever you go outside because of Corona? Not whenever I go outside, but 
if I'm going into a store and it says like you need a mask, I'll wear one just to not get a uh, banned from the store. But if I don't have to wear a mask, I won't. Funnily enough, thanks to my allergies, I have to wear a mask whenever I mow the lawn. Like an N95 mask or whatever. So, I'm already pretty accustomed to having to wear masks. So it wasn't that big of a thing for me. I still think it's dumb. Oh, God. Alright, let's see. Do you have an extra chromosome? Yes. Are you currently employed? Technically, I'd have to say no. I do do work for my mom at the place she works, and I get paid off the books. But I don't think that that should really count as employment. I just help around where she works and get like 25 bucks an hour. Not 25 an hour. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I get paid like nine an hour. I make 25 bucks every time I come because of like ten, nine, ten an hour. I do not make 25 an hour. Holy shit. No. In no way do I make 25 an hour. Oh my god. All right, let me see another question. We've got, do you have a two-story house? No, I used to. I've gone through multiple houses in my time. Do I live on my own? Yes. I, I, no, that's a lie. I don't live on my own. I live with my family. What are my life goals? My life goals, oh, got to pause here. Oh, wait, actually, I'm, um, I'm going to the next Grand Prix. My life goals include uh, get YouTube famous and uh, get a medical degree, become a doctor, and also not get murdered. Specifically in like a car wreck or something. Do you have a bucket list? Nope. What is your closest family member? Probably my mom or my dad or just both. Both my parents. Those, those are my closest family members by far. What games can we expect to see you post or stream in the future? Well, of course FTL and Isaac. And of course, I'm finishing up Plants vs. Zombies. And uh, I'm doing Paper Mario. I'm going to start playing Metroid and uh, Mario RPG after Paper Mario and also Mega Man X, the very first one. In, the, in other games, I'm thinking about playing Mario Party with my friends. Is this going to load? I'm thinking about play definitely playing Mario Party with my friends and uploading that. Okay, what is going on here? Please. Do I have to restart? What is going on? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, fuck it, I'm just going to restart. Yeah, I'll just restart, whatever. Uh, yeah. Mario Party with my friends. If I can get them to play with me again, Castle Crashers. Last time, though, the audio was super whack. I could still probably upload it, though. Uh, Pokemon Nuzlocks. Definitely Nuzlocks coming. They're, they're on the way. Death Road to Canada is, of course, going to be every here every now and then. Uh, what what else? Okay, I, got, I, I can only do this again. Can I do 150cc? I want to do 50cc pizza because... Oh, God. I was not doing very well at all. Lordy. Second chance? No, I'm not restarting a lost race. Um, all kinds of games. Really, just whatever I feel like playing. That's what I do. Maybe, uh, of course, video game analysis type videos. You know, those good old video essays that get all the views. They're the, they're the greatest. So that, that's like the current trend nowadays. Is all that BS. So, maybe I'll capitalize on all that. What else? Um, more stuff like this. If I get enough, if I get enough viewers to do more Garfield Kart Q and A's, then totally this. The new super hot game came out, so I could probably do some of that. Maybe. Uh, what? Man, that's about it. Let's see. What was the most fun vid to make? Definitely Yoda beats his wife for not shitting in the poop sock. That was not just my. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. That, that was bullshit right there. I was going to do a skip. Definitely, Yoda beats his wife for not shitting in the poop sock. Not just was that fun, but it was funny. It's my magnum opus. My favorite creation. I want to make a part two. Haven't haven't got around to it yet. I was on working on a part two, but then my premiere subscription ran out. Got it back, though, now. And, of course, that's why I'm making videos again, because I got premiere back. And uh, I started with Undertale, and I got a huge boost in subs after playing Undertale, and here I am. Oh, whoops. Did I ever expect to get 100 plus subs? Somewhat. I expected to get maybe 100 subs, maybe maybe even 200. I don't expect to go very far past that, though I want to. And honestly, I should, because that's the if I want to guarantee, I have to I have to be prepared to. So, do I expect to get more? I expect to get more if I can if I put the time and the effort in. But 
if I end up getting lazy and quitting, then I don't. I ended. I did when it, in the beginning. I ran an ad on YouTube for a few months, so I did expect to get some propulsion thanks to that. The ad got me like 20 subscribers, though. Still, it helped. It helped. It boosted me some. Let's see. Do you know what your first who your first subscriber was? Yes, my first subscriber was myself. I used my vlog channel, as I'm going to call it, from the rest of the time. I used that to subscribe to myself. That was my first subscriber. It was me. Do you think you inspire other people to become YouTubers? Hell no. If I'm an inspiration to anybody, then I'm just confused, honestly. One day, if I get big enough, I'll probably end up inspiring somebody, and that, that'll be pretty badass. But nowadays especially, I don't expect myself to inspire anybody. It's the same kind of deal as receiving donations. I don't think I should be receiving donations at this point in my YouTube, uh, YouTube career. I don't want to call it a YouTube career. That sounds dumb. In my YouTube life cycle. I, I just think that's a... Oh, okay, I just wasted that. I don't think I should be receiving donations at all. That just... No. Or, and I don't think I should be inspiring people. Who do you who do you look up when it, to when it comes to YouTube? Uh, whenever it comes to quality videos... People that have the most quality videos... Alpha Rad, again, Alpha Rad is a huge one. Uh... Oh, right, horror channels. Nightmine. Nightmine's a great horror channel. The Vulgan's a great SCP-themed channel. There you go. Whenever I look, at, who I look up to whenever it comes to videos in the same style that I like, I like to make Alexa, uh, Alpharad Plus, definitely Alpharad. There, Alpharad and his videos and Alpharad Plus. Those those are hilarious. Honestly, they're they're great. Would I call myself a plusy? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a plushie. Um, whenever it comes to videos in my style, I mean, there's so many different vi videos in my style, it's not even funny. I need to branch out in some regard. There, I, how many people have a personality similar to mine? I have no idea. I'd assume it's pretty high up there. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'm just, I got a special dose of uh, Asperger's in me or something. I don't know. I don't know if I have any, any anything like that, honestly. But maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I, I couldn't tell you. So whenever it comes to videos, like, who do I look up to whenever it comes to videos in a similar enough style to mine? Alfred, Alfred Plus. Uh, if, if whenever it comes to animated Yoda videos, the, the one animated Yoda video I did, basically any, any of the, uh, real, uh, surreal kind of YouTube comedy videos, any of those were my inner, like, inspiration for that. Because that shit is, that's pinnac the pinnacle of meme culture right there is Yoda beating his wife for not shitting in a poop sock because Yoda's a poop dealer. That's, yeah, of course, pinnacle of meme culture right there. So just memes in general for, in that case. Whenever it comes to other types of videos, Scott the Waz, whenever it comes to some of the videos I made real early on analyzing Minecraft and stuff and uh, just talking about video games, definitely Scott the Waz. Scott the Waz is great also. And of course, video game analysis, you got all those, the good old video game analysis channels. Okay, let's see. Am I the one asking the most questions? Yes, you are. Will you be streaming this or recording this? Well, you already have the answer for that. And finally, from Ben, we have, would you rather be gay or trans and straight? Well, if you're trans and straight, doesn't that mean that you're actually gay? I don't, I don't get that stuff. I don't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be frank. I don't know what I'm talking about and I'm going to offend somebody and I'm going to, I'm going to get, I'm going to get into, I'm going to start trying to decipher this shit. And next thing I know, I'm going to get canceled for being mean to trans gay people. So I'm just going to leave that question in the, in the dirt. I'm not, I'm not touching that. And yeah, that's all the questions. Uh, now I'm going to, I'm going to finish this race. Oh my God, Garfield cart. Anyway, I mean, yeah. I definitely do look up to, of course, Alpha Rad, great inspiration for me whenever it comes to uh, being funnies. Alpha Rad is a great funnies inspiration. Uh, Scott the Waz, great, just like normal long form kind of video. Not long, did I say long? I'm a short form kind of video where I just talk about shit, highly edited, all that stuff with some jokes, except I don't really do many jokes. And analysis, just any analysis channel. Of course, 
I haven't done either of those in quite a long time. I've, I've just been gaming so far, so who knows? Maybe I'll make some. Anyway, that's the that's the Garfield Kart Q&A. Hopefully one day I'll get enough people asking me enough questions to make a part two. And I'll do like Super Hot or something. I'll see you all, I'll see you all then. Maybe. Who knows?